Hello, my good friends. Welcome to the show. Jack Chow on East West with Jin ETV. Uh, for the past two weeks, the whole country, whole nation, maybe if not the world, is talking about the POW exchange program that President Obama conducted with the Taliban. Uh, well, with Afghanistan, put it that way. Okay, yeah. now. Uh, there is lots of controversy about it. There are lots of saying about it. People will start to criticize him for doing so. On the other side, what they say, as a chief commander, executive commander of the United States, he does have the right, executive right, to conduct those law-related, I mean the war-related stuff, decisions including. All right. So, uh, today, uh, joining me in the discussion, is my good friend, Mr. Ken Hemi. He is the writer of a beautiful book, Life is Simple, 100 Words to Live By, which is the one I always hang on, and still is, uh, is by my pillow. Yes. I read it almost every night before sleep, right? Uh, to discuss about this whole thing. So, why don't we just cut the chase right away? Yes, sir. All right. What's your take about the exchange program? Well, let me first say thank you for letting me be here. Thank you for letting me share uh, our ideas with your wonderful viewers. You're welcome. I'm You're honored, welcome. Yeah. and this is a highlight of my life whenever I mm. share space mm. with you, Jack. Mm. Um, uh, my take is, well, number one, there's two ways to kind of approach this. And, mm. and one is, you know, in, in my whole philosophy of life, mm. I've always said that common sense has more value, life mm. value, than mm. intelligence, All right. okay? Mm -hmm. And so we could talk about this from a common sense standpoint, mm -hmm. then we can talk about it from a constitutional standpoint, mm -hmm. what limitations there mm -hmm. are on the, on the presidential powers uh, when there is a war going on, and there are limitations. And All so right. uh, uh -huh. I think the best way always is to start with common sense. Oh, uh, no, 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 okay. I, I mean, maybe not. I'm, okay. I'm sorry that uh, I might have a suggestion. Yes, sir. How about we switch? Okay. We started from uh, from the executive part, yes, sir. from uh, the constitutional part. Okay. Right. So then we move yeah. down. We back up. Yes, sir. Step by step until we can probably later touch the human part. Okay. Right. Perfect. Humanity part. Right. Okay. Now, from the constitution. Does our constitution allow or give our president of the United States the power of making his executive orders? Not unlimited, uh, mm. because if, if you make certain decisions in mm. making these orders mm. that I would pro propose that has happened here, mm. you can run into what they call dereliction of duty. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, and which is all about empower. When there's a war going on, even though we're ending mm -hmm. backing out of the war in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. uh, they are still at war with us. And and when we have no troops there, they're still going to be wanting to kill us. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fair statement. Okay, uh, they have like the uh, uh, the Taliban and and the the terrorist groups there. They don't have jobs that they go to Monday and Friday and then mm. just go out and try to hurt somebody on the weekend. That the entire mission of their life mm. is um, is to, you know, spread their their religion and and mm. and and get a, and get rid of anybody who is not in their mm -hmm. group. Okay, mm -hmm. and so when when we're still at war, for example, to replenish and empower mm -hmm. our enemy, and there I think they're our enemy. Mm -hmm. We have dead boys, we have dead civilians, uh, uh, to replenish them with mm -hmm. five commanders mm -hmm. who are really, I think, more referred to as a war criminal than a POW. A mm -hmm. POW, pretty much in my mind, is, you know, I'm out there as a sergeant or something fighting and I get caught, and then I'm in a prisoner of war camp. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between planning mass murders and mass uh, havoc mm -hmm. uh, uh, that I believe these guys were uh, involved in. So mm -hmm. I, th I think it's more than a POW exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do think, even though I, 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 I believe Bergdahl, the sergeant we're doing, who will mm -hmm. probably go back to private, but the sergeant uh, uh, has, was dishonorable in his activities in representing the United mm -hmm. States, mm -hmm. I don't think that matters. What matters is, um, uh, 
is, is to empower the enemy to regroup and come back at us seems on its surface to um, out, of the, out of the power, out of the constitutional powers of the president. All right, okay. Thank you for all the comment, and I get the basic ideas about yes, where you are from. Uh, when we discuss about it, we discuss about it uh, from a neutral point of view. Okay. All right. We're not here, not there, we're in the middle. Yes, right. right. Now, for the war, the term war, it is something, a fight, maybe waged by one side, maybe waged by both, mm -hmm. and they're fighting. Yes, sir. That's it. Okay. That's it. As for to the cause of the war, that's a different issue. War is a war, just war. Okay. All right. When you are at war, you are at war. Yes, sir. Then you fight, right? And then you stop. Okay. Hopefully. In the battle, in the in the battle, mm -hmm. you have people that are captured by the other side, yep. and you capture people from the other side. Mm -hmm. Then there's the exchange programs. That's exchange traditions. When right. the war is over. When the war was over. This war is not over. No, it is over. It is no, over. Not, yeah. President Obama has, has declared that, and we're withdrawing. We're down to the very bottom of withdrawing. We're almost finished. It, in, in my, the war is over. In, in my mind, mm -hmm. if, as long as we're still being attacked, uh, colluded, and planned to kill us, the war is not over. No, no, so no, we no, disagree no. on that. No. That's fine. You're, of course, we uh, disagree. You are reading, you are using a rhetorical term to say it is over or not. We're saying a factual term. The factual term is that it is over. I, and then I by, by logic, by logic, the war is never over. Can we say that? By logic. The war, the war on terrors, terrorism is never over. But it's the, never going to be. But over. even factually, right now, we've still got you know tens of thousands, about fifteen thousand people in Afghanistan and fighting. And we're we're withdrawing them. Over. We're withdrawing them. Right? Are we? Uh, Why uh, are we withdrawing them? Because we think it is over. No, no. I think we're. I think Obama is trying to withdraw them because he wants it to be over. But but once we've got people getting killed there today, mm -hmm. it's not over. Well, because you are there, you get killed. So. Okay, now, mm -hmm. we put that aside. Okay, we, like you said, we may disagree uh, to each other, right? Right. Okay. Now, one thing is that, okay, let's, let's, let us come back from the very point that we started. Okay. As the President of the United States, does he or does he not have the power? Not absolute the power. Authority. Only a dictator or a king has absolute power. No, our, no, 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 no. Our, our constitutional yeah. mm -hmm. uh, way of okay. government. Okay. No, no, no. Let me let me does, let me does rephrase not it. Power anyone. No, no, no. Let me rephrase it. Okay. Does he have the right? Does he have the right? No. Mm, because, why not? Because well, actually, this is very interesting. Because mm -hmm. he, they admit they broke a statute. They broke a law. They broke an agreement. I don't think so. They never admitted that. Yes, they did. But they it, never okay. admitted that. They yeah, never admitted yeah, they that. They did. And at but, least I don't agree. Because yeah. now, don't forget one thing. Yeah. We are a system of balancing. Check and balance. They're not being allowed to function. Check and balance. But they're not right? being allowed to function. There is a there is a, the Congress. There is a judicial and there is the executive, right? He is the head of the, of the executive department. His executive, he is implementing what the Congress has decided. As what he is right or wrong, it is the judicial system to decide. Are we in the system of checking the balance? Well, the administration agreed to give mm -hmm. 30 days notice and to inform the, con uh, the Congress about what, what steps are being taken to mitigate anybody being released coming back to kill us. Mm -hmm. and, and they ignored that. Now here's what's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of breaking a law, okay, mm -hmm. which I believe they did, and they have said they did, but is different than, because a law can never overrule the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So there are, there's very deep thinking that I'm not capable of, okay, mm -hmm. um, about whether uh, constitutionally mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was um, broken or not, because it's very, you know, that's why we have a Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. But, but, but even if you break a law, mm -hmm. if it does, it, it, if the constitutional power was there, that overrules the law. All right. So that I admit, but um, 
The law is a product of constitution. That is understood. No problem. I don't not have always problem. parallel to the Constitution, mm -hmm. but, no, 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 but it not should sure. be. I just say product, not parallel. Yeah. Okay. That's... The law, law, the law system, the whole system mm -hmm. is a product of our Constitution. It's under the same statute of Constitution. Absolutely, absolutely. We under produce our own laws. Right. The law is proposed by Congress, voted, yeah. and assigned by the President into laws. Right. Right? Now, okay. Okay, back to my audiences. Today, mm -hmm. we're starting a discussion about the uh, exchange of POW, I still insist on calling it a POW, POW exchange because to me, they are PM POWs. And to me, they're war criminals. All right, yeah. anyway. So that's okay. So, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah. So, and we may call it the POWs, we may call them uh, mm, uh, criminals, whatever, and just a name. However, behind the name, there might be things to talk about. Sure. So today, I have my friend, Mr. Ken Hamming, Join me in the discussion, in the argument. Well, I didn't prepare to argue. We end up arguing anyway. Friendly. A friendly oh. arguing, right? Okay, anyway. It's discussion. So, all right, discussion. good. So stay with us. We'll do so when we come back.